you shut the unit off in, in, in wait 10 minutes, um, does it always flow in this direction? Is there a check valve here in the compressor that doesn't allow for you on the refrigerant to go this way? Well, it's a single phase motor and it can't, it won't go the other way. The only way that that's so sometimes it has the pressure here, it has to work its way around this way to right. equalize the pressure. On a three phase motor compressor, you can hook the three phases up backwards so it'll run and it'll run in reverse. And what you're basically doing is sending it all the way through. And, and it makes a distinctive noise when you do that. And the guys here on the line, we have, they're numbered for us when we assemble. That if someone got a wire on, the tester on the test stand will know. They'll switch the wires, relay all of them. They'll come to you if you ever get a three phase with one, two, and three. These are going to be there up here. Yeah, they can go back. It, I'll show you one of those out there. These have a capillary with a ball of like. Yeah, where stars. is that located in here? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, you uh, ask them to use one. That's why you're here. If you look straight down, you'll see a little device on the copper line. It's like a one inch. Uh, Sitting up and down. Yeah. Or is it the, it's not the, uh, it's, it looks it's like a vertical this. thing. You've got copper going over, and on its way down, it goes through. Right, vertical. It goes through a strainer, and then it turns right, and you'll see a TXV. <laughs> it's, it, it's on the horizontal pipe. No, I have the vertical pipe. The vertical pipe is the strainer you're talking about. Yeah, yeah it's horizontal. Okay. That, yeah. It's that thing right there at the bottom of that big wire. Looks like that. Uh, yeah. No, and the what are, what are, what's the wires coming off of it? There's a capillary line that comes off the bottom of it. And that capillary line is just like this. It's a liquid filled bulb, it's just like your thermostat. That liquid, it's not a refrigerant. Um, and it's attached to the line right here. Refrigerant goes in and stops here. It doesn't actually enter the downstream system or the upstream system. This is it. This really does go like this. The refer it's, this whole system is right in here. This area from the heat exchanger where it comes, this is the refrigerant coming out of the heat exchanger and it goes through the strain. This is uh, a strainer and um, this has the dye in it. The filter in here has the dye impregnated in it when we install it, and when the refrigerant goes through it, it liquefies it, and that's what it puts in the system. But anyway, it goes through the strainer uh, filter, and then it goes down through the equalizer. And then right from here is where it goes. Um, that's on the other side of the TXT, and that's when it goes into the back here. So this right here is right here. Like the 
got some of these. I think we'll have one that's not um, fully enclosed. But it, it, it uses the temperature sensor and the pressure sensor to decide whether or not to open or close and allow it for more or less refrigerant fluid. And, and, and when you disengage things, it just opens up. So you turn it on. Pressure equalizes. Um, it does use this um, to help equalize it, but it it also um, has a bleed, a natural bleed through it. I think it's twenty five percent or fifteen percent. So it does all the check. 